Hello everyone, welcome back once again to this new tarot reading. Um, today I wanted to continue because um, yesterday I did an, a tarot reading for CL and it's been a while since a lot of people have been asking me to do a reading on her dynamic with G-Dragon. So I wanted to do it uh, just so we can like move on from this question because um it's like, I don't know why um, everyone keep asking about this too. So I don't know if maybe they had uh, some kind of... I believe they could potentially be friends because of the energy that I was uh, referring to when I read for her, when I talked about her moon being in Leo and him being a Leo, that they could potentially be good friends or have like good chemistry. Um, so I don't know if maybe they have like some kind of history. This is why people are asking me, but I have the feeling that they could be like very good, like maybe business partners. So let's see a bit about, um, about the, the cards that came out, but also let's, I'm going to do like a, a small summary of, of their energies. Uh, like I mentioned in CL's reading, um, she is a Pisces with uh, a moon in Leo and he is a Leo sun with a moon in Libra. So it, like I always said when so I always talk about this when it comes to astrological placements, when it comes to close relationships, it's a very beneficial uh, placement that you have each other's moon or or sun sign is like they their interactions it's comes from a place of recognizing each other's energy like equals because it's like the person that has uh the the sun for example in this case uh g dragon he is um he is the leo the leo sun and um and cl she is uh the moon sign so it's like there's like this uh this sense of familiarity like uh for example cl's inner world and her inner feelings and emotions and uh probably the persona he, she portrays also on on a stage because the moon in leo is is very expressive so even though the moon placement is very intimate when a moon in Leo is on stage or it's on the spotlight, it tends to reveal its traits and it's um uh, it's wonderful magic that it's about uh Leo, it's all about uh shining, it's all about brightness, it's all about uh you showing your true potential and showing and sharing it with an audience. So um, this is probably why she would get along really well with Leo Sun people. And she could probably feel really comfortable around that energy and also really inspired and feeling really like um, really comfortable, like being home because it's like her moon in Leo resonates a lot with uh, with with GD that he is a Leo. So and this could also happen to her with other Leo leo people or probably with other fire signs as well even though she is a pisces it's like she has a lot of fire in her chart so we have to take that energy into consideration and if we talk about gd gd it's really he's really interesting in the sense that he is a leo so definitely there's not enough adjectives and, po and positive things that i can say about leo leo energy is so it's so beautiful, it's so bright, it's so... They are just breathtaking. You, you just look at them and you... Uh, they have this, this um, like, very majestic, this very kind of golden vibe. This is why Leo is ruled by the sun, because they, they, just, they just shine. They just have that... Aura. They just have that presence. They were born to be in the spotlight. They were born to be celebrities. They were born to be popular. Everything they do is it, it gets attention. So Leo, it's very, uh, it's very comfortable in their skin, and they know that they got it. They know that they they have uh, good attributes, and and they are also really good at handling 
the pressure of being famous because Leo is all about exposure. So of course there's a part of them that probably at some point in the career they want some privacy, but at the same time they're willing to play with the media. They're willing to pay the price. They are not afraid of fame. Uh, and, and they could enjoy also a bit of drama. They could enjoy also people talking good and bad about them. They just don't care. They just think that uh, everything is attention. So even though you can be a lover or a hater, you are just paying attention to him. So definitely Leo is really Leo energy is really good for an entertainment an entertainer to have or did, or a celebrity or an artist to have this kind of placements because it, it makes them fearless in that sense. It makes them like go after what they want. And yes, they are in the spotlight and they are not afraid to display this, um, this, uh, this magnetism about them. This is like, they feel really comfortable in being in first place, being with all the cameras pointing at them. They, they just know it's it's what they have to do. They just have to be there. They to, It's like they have to expose themselves so they can be an inspiration for people that probably are struggling with uh, showing themselves or actually uh, are very afraid or are very uncomfortable with being in the spotlight. So nevertheless, they know that whoever is watching them, that they are sending this inspiration and this strength to these people, to their, to their audience. So definitely they do it because they love the craft and also because they know that someone out there is probably being influenced by what they do in a positive way. So it's like they, they, they are like, okay, I will go. I, I will expose myself uh, so I can be of inspiration for others. Um, so let's go with the cards that came out for them. <clears throat> on the left, I placed GD. And on the right, I placed CL. So GD got uh, the Four of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Hierophant. So, definitely, I think uh, GD definitely try, trusts uh, CL. I think he also, there's a part of him that he has like a close circle of friends or acquaintances, people that he really trusts, and that he is very... He's very protective of that small crowd. Um, and I think also that he he's very possessive also about it. I think that there's there's a feeling of him he actually fears losing um, actually not losing fame or popularity. He just fears to lose the people that he trusts. I think that he definitely has some kind of trust issues or maybe he has, with the time, he has developed some kind of paranoia when it comes to who he trusts or who he opens up to. At least at this point in his life, he's feeling a bit like uh, fearful to abandonment or actually... He had been thinking or revising a lot his bonds with people. He had been like wondering also about people that are still standing by him or people that are still by his side. And also he's thinking about the people that no longer are there. So definitely there's a bit of nostal nostalgia, like a bit of... He's, uh, he's having a bit of nostalgic feelings, uh, but he's trying to move on. He's trying to move on. Um, when it comes to CL, there's there's a, 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 there's trust here. I think he trusts her, but uh, definitely, like, I see them, like, really, like, them being together or them being... Um, being really close or being 
partners because of an in institution, and probably this institution is uh, the company. I think that somehow he's also been nostalgic about everything that they went through in that building or in that place, that I think that now he's looking at what's going on, the changes, people coming and, and go, people uh, leaving, people coming in. I think that he, this is why he holds so tight, because he doesn't recognize that place anymore, like maybe the place that they used to hang out with. Uh, I think that probably they had spent a lot of amount of time of their lives in and their careers in important times of their lives and careers in that building so i think that this this place was like a school a school of life for them they were trying to overcome a lot of obstacles and they were trying to be their best at their other craft so i think they they bonded they their bond was built around that around uh around trying to train and trying to be the best person of themselves and trying to be a good performer and trying to be a good artist. Um, and I think that now with everything that is going on, he's definitely wondering if there will be a place left for him to come back to. I think that he's a bit worried about the company. There's something about it that actually it doesn't feel like home anymore. I think that, I don't know if CL is a still part of YG, uh, I don't know, but there's something about this place that makes him feel nostalgic, like he cannot spend time with her or maybe go back to the, the moments that they shared, because it's not only about the company. I'm talking about the company because I see it like an institution, but actually it's what it represents for him. And actually for him in, 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 in a time of his life, this represented like this, like a school for him or probably like a family. Here, a place where everyone gathered and where everyone trained and where everyone uh, gathered to celebrate, gathered to cry, gathered to open up about their feelings, gathered to talk about their future, gathered to talk about about their struggles. So even though it's a building, it's it's a physical building, it has a lot of memories. So he is holding really tight to those memories. And he's trying to move on. He's trying to uh, open up because he is a visionary. So definitely he's like thinking about what he can do with all these feelings of thinking about the past. So probably he's thinking about um, creating something, probably like writing or creating or, or because he is a Leo, so definitely he is on the process of creating something, but it cannot be denied that inside of him, he is a bit worried about the people around him. Uh, I think CL is in that in that group, uh, but definitely they they are going through a, a period of restructuring or probably a period of adapting to to what they are going to do, um, and he feels a bit like he feels like he can trust her, but he feels like they don't share as much time as they did a few years ago like everything is changing and nothing is the same but still uh, the foundations of the relationship are there but I think that there's a fear of that it's not the same anymore um, so in the case of CL we have the four of cups the two of pentacles and the devil so definitely for um, for CL, it's it's also a bit. Uh, I don't know if something happened between them. Because she's feeling a bit apathetic also about about their relationship. It's like she's feeling a bit numb emotionally. It's like maybe in the past she had a lot of feelings and emotions, or so probably she was very affectionate, which she did, and now she's like in this period where 
she's like yeah like yes i care about you yes uh i i hope that you're okay or yes um uh, but there's something that is not the same and i don't know why um but definitely she's not very open emotionally and i think that in the past she was but it's like now she's like i have nothing left to give you emotionally so i don't know if maybe she gave him like some kind of advice or maybe if she had talked to him about something or a, and and it's like he decided to do things his way anyway and it's like she he is in this in this she's in this in this posture of whatever do what you want you always do what you want do what you want do what you think is right but don't ask me like don't come back to like to be like oh look what happened to me look because it's like she's she's a bit uh tired of being like of maybe she's the one giving advices to him or being like the one that that tries to i don't know make make him reflect a bit about life or his decisions or in, in whatever state he's in so i think that now she's a bit tired of being uh giving advices for free it's like she feels that she he doesn't listen to her so um it's like at the end uh he does whatever he wants to do um so and she's very emotional she's a very well she's a pisces but she's a very emotional uh person it's like if she feels like you are not if she doesn't feel reciprocity or if she doesn't feel acknowledged like she's been acknowledged or that you are appreciating what she's offering to you she gets uh she gets really like hurt and probably she she i don't know she she just retreats and is like okay i'm 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 done talking to you something like that and here with the two of wands and the devil <sighs> I don't know what is it, but she definitely is like there's something about them. Something happened between them. Something happened like a disagreement where she doesn't she seems like she thinks that the relationship is changing and that um it's like she thinks that it's going to actually take a while for her to actually be able to to let go or probably forgive him for something so i don't know what is it but it's something about money so i don't know i don't know if maybe they make like some kind of contract or if they uh there's something about ambition that maybe he she wanted to make like deal with him or something like that and then he decided to there's something about the company also because if i see that th that the third card he got the hierophant and in her side we got the devil so there's definitely her perception is that he he was trying to be like she was trying he was trying to like to have it both ways like well he's a moon in libra so i would expect less of a moon in libra to actually be uh try to be uh try to be polite or try to be diplomatic with two sides so maybe there's a feeling of betrayal here like maybe he agreed to something with the company that it meant that somehow he would have to reject to do something with her so it's like he chose the company or he chose someone of the company that he does she doesn't like so she's a bit offended by it it's like oh like i'm your friend why why are you choosing this person or why are you getting on this person's side but she definitely feels like Oh okay now now I'm seeing what you're all about. Of course that she's been a bit dramatic, I'm not going to lie, but it's like she's going to have a hard time letting go actually. 
of this. It's like now she's acting like actually she doesn't care, but she's hurt. She's hurt. Uh, and she's like, she's seeing him like, oh, like you, like as if he has no loyalty, you know, like he changes it in, in, it's like he is like a chameleon that he tries to accommodate himself to whatever shows up. And she finds that really low. Uh, so I don't know what what's going on in, in there. And here with the cards that came out is the, the for the relationship as an overall, they got the full, the seven of swords and the seven of cups. So yes, there's something, I don't know, but there's something about stealing someone's idea or someone's intellectual property. So I don't know, guys, if you know something about it, I don't know. But I have the feeling that yes, and there's this, like uh, the relationship is a star is a starting, uh, is is entering a new phase. It's like they are starting something new, and probably is like somehow the relationship is not as tight or as stable as it used to be, and probably it's going to take a while to actually reform the basis of this relationship, because I feel like each of them each. Each of them are actually feeling offended. One is feeling offended because the other person considers him a traitor of some sort, and the other part is is um, is offended because it's like, oh, you choose ambition over me or money over our 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 friendship. So I don't know. And here with the seven of cups, yes, it's like they could potentially make up it's like they could be friends still but it's like the relationship is going to be very fragile in the sense that there are things that um they're going to be like a feeling of of suspiciousness it's like Okay, I forgive you, but somehow I don't forget. Or it's like, oh, I'm 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 in the defensive because I'm waiting to see if you if you if you want to mess up our relationship again. So it's like they could potentially like resolve this problem or this uncomfortable feeling but it's like the relationship is not it's not going to be really stable actually there's going to be a feeling of distrust and suspicious in in the back in their unconscious I don't know why there's this feeling of I don't know who you are anymore something like that but it's I mean I wouldn't say it's normal because I don't want to sound superficial or, or probably like try to speak in a general manner. But we all know, or at least we people that are adults, that life is about changes and transformation. And of course that they, the two of them had go through a lot of different experiences so that's obvious that they are not the same the same people when they were trainees or when they debuted or when they were rookie or when they were in a famous group they went through a lot a lot of changes and they will be still be going through a lot of changes personally so i don't think that if there's like a feel of betrayal between them or if there's a feel of oh you hit this you hit this for me or you choose this and you didn't tell me or oh i i i thought you weren't going to do this and you did it anyways i think that it's not actually to be taken that drama dramatic that uh, dramatically because they're both holding on to to who they used to be. I think that 
they are both really trying really hard because I believe that both of them with this Leo energy, both of them are trying to keep their head as high as possible. It's like they are trying to keep their image as clean as possible and as prosperous as possible for the fans and for the people that support them. So yes, they could make choices based on money or based on, 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 on what's good for them, you know, because they have to work. So I think that they definitely need to open up and talk about how they feel instead of being like passive aggressive or being like, oh, yes, I forgive you. Or yes, I, I didn't, I didn't realize that you did this. It's like they have to be. Uh, open about it they have to talk about it um, because probably maybe it's not that of a big deal or maybe if someone from the outside sees it um, well it's business you know it's business so I don't know I would advise them to actually be honest with with each other and actually talk about what what bothers them um, so they don't let this feeling to get in the way of their relationship. But yes, I see the relationship tumbling a little bit. Like, like actually them like not facing the reality of that their relationship is not the same. But they are not like talking to each other about it. They are not like you know, like being straightforward, like, oh, yes, you did this and this made me feel bad. You know, I wish you wouldn't do this. And they are just like, I wouldn't say faking it, but they are like trying to be like, oh, yes, everything is okay. You know, like in denial. But it also has to do with their personal struggles and also with all, all everything that is going on around them. Uh, we don't know. I don't know what's that, but probably they're going through a lot, uh, a lot of transformation, a lot of losses. So we just have to keep an open mind and let them resolve this in the best way possible that they can if they want to. So this is all I have for their for their bond, their relationship, their, their friendship, their dynamic. So if you are a fan of of them please i would appreciate the feedback please be respectful um so i'll see you in the next video bye